Want to see how to add text to pictures? Follow along this simple tutorial and then tag us so we can see your creative designs. Let's start with a simple text design. Here is an image from one of our templates. Let's add some text. To do this, head to the PicMonkey editor and click the text tab. There are a few things to take note of here in the fonts menu. Firstly, there is a recently used section. This is where you'll find fonts that you regularly use. Great if you're a brand that have a font that you use for every design. Next up is upload your fonts. While our font library is always expanding, we want you to be able to use your own. To do this, click upload your fonts and select fonts from your computer. Look for a TTF or OTF file. What's great is once you upload your fonts, you can use them on any computer when you're logged into PicMonkey. When you scroll down, you'll see that we've divided our fonts into six groups. Sans Serif, Serif, Handwriting, Script, Display. These are great for headlines, not so much paragraphs and long sentences. And finally, Monospace. Think of this as your typewriter font. Okay, so let's select a font. I'm gonna choose Chunk 5. Now click Add Text. Head over to the text that appears over the image and click the text box. Start typing. Now we have some text. Let's take a look at the text palette. This is where you can create some magic. Divided into three sections, you have the basic, effects, and erase. In the basics tab, you can change your font color. Check out the eyedropper tool. This lets you choose colors directly from your canvas. You can also change the size, play with the alignment, as well as fade and blend. The effects tab is where you can apply a drop shadow and inner shadow, as well as curving your text. Lastly is the Erase tab. This is a magic tool that allows you to erase text. Great for when you want it to appear as though it's sitting behind an image. If you decide you'd rather another font, click on your text, head to the font menu, and select another one. Pretty simple, right? Let's do another. Let's create a thrift store sale post. First, let's add some basic text. Remember to do this, go to the text tab and let's look for a sans serif font like Montserrat. Click add text. Because we're going to use this font twice, let's duplicate the text. To do this, right click and select duplicate. Click the text box and type some text. Now let's create a bold headline using the font Anton. Because I'm going to arrange my text diagonally, I'm going to create each letter as a separate layer. A great way to ensure that your text is level is to switch on your grid and alignments. This is located next to your layers palette. Simply switch it on and select the correct preset. And that's it. Now go add some text your design.